will be removing the heatsink uh, off of my MSI uh, Aegis machine just so as a replacement. I had a water cooler in it, um, but it's time for just a replacement. I wanted to do back to air to its stock cooler. So what you do is remove the panel on the back or with one screw, open it up. And you'll see my MSI 1060 uh, GTX along with the 92 millimeter cooler from uh, Asatec. I'll link everything in the in the description so you guys can see what I used along with paired with a Noctua fan. Oops. The reason why I'm getting rid of it, as you can see, it's, it's just it's such a cluster here of cables and all that, and still not not that ideal of an air. Uh, how should I put this air um, circulation? So we're just gonna go back to the traditional um, the air cooler that the system came with, which is actually not too bad, uh, as long as you don't use the K series uh, processor. Um, you should be fine. Mine's just a normal 6700. Out. Monster size card. 1060 with a huge cooler. Does really well. Um, so here's kind of the front. Or the insides of it, you can kind of see. I had to get an extra little adapter. Let me see if I can zoom into it. Right down there. So I can plug in multiple fans. Um, I do have an intake fan as well that I installed. It's by Sil uh, Silenix, or however you pronounce it. And of course the little tiny red. I'll put this guy back in here so you guys can see. So what you're gonna do is remove, let's see, the camera picks it up. That screw, right there. Um, that screw right there and this screw right there and the entire uh, mount will come out so let me do that right now sorry for the crooked camera let me adjust it real quick there we go All right. I did forget to mention there's a couple of other screws right here in the back. They do have to be removed. That one and that one. There we go. So here's the riser card with the cooler mount. So you guys can get easy access now on here. Okay. It's such a mess of cables. Um, let's see. Okay, so we have to remove this guy because of the way I routed the cables. And I uh, should be able to get. No, nah, we'll just remove that one as well. And now, I guess it's just removing that fan. Time for e extraction. Sound like a dentist. Okay. And then. So, oh, well. Put that up so we can get the cable out. And close it back up. And then here is. That and we left the Let's see, can we do it at an angle? Yes, we can. 
Alrighty. So here is the cooler. Alright, so let me put it set it aside. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So do 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 do. So I like that. We're in camera shot. Okay, cool. That is cooler assembly. Let me angle you guys back. All right. Now then, one only other screw I did not remove, which is specifically for the cooler, is right up here. I don't know if you guys see if the camera can see it. It's right there. That's the one specifically for the actual MSI cooler. Where there's Silent Storm. Uh, to be installed. So, now, so the paste that I use is from Cooler Master, uh, this guy right here, Master Jail Maker. Um, seen good reviews on it, and so far, temps wise, I'm actually really impressed with it. I've been using the uh, TG7 from Thermaltake for the longest, and it's it was doing good until I got my hands on these. So let me just lay the machine on its side so I can apply the thermal paste. All right, so as you can see, just a little pea size um, on there. And then a the cooler is very easy to put in, so. Literally just um, let's see. So make sure you just line up the screws to be underneath here, or actually not underneath, but right over, just like that. And then just kind of angle it in, and then. All right, and then these two we'll put on there as well. So first one you have to do is the very, very top. Let's get it right up here. Now, before you guys ask what tools I'm using, it is the iFixit. Uh, tools. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just I like their tools. They're very, they're very very good tools. Uh, very quality made. All right. So that one. Just double check and make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. Cool. So yeah. And then the final screw. Right there, on the heatsink. Or the fins, should I say? Now just pretty much installing the riser card back uh, into it. So what we're gonna do? That's on the outside, just like that. There we go. Riser card installed, and then just tighten up all the screws. Alright, so we got that one in, that one's in, that one's in, one, two, three, okay, cool. Alright, so now, try to cable manage something. Uh, now, this computer really does not have that much cable management spots. Right, so we put that there. I'm going to plug in the fan. So this one's going to be CPU. There we go. That goes, oh, go back in there. Yeah, whatever. Alright, 
so now this card back in. Now, guys, be careful if you do have this machine. The the MS, I mean the ASUS. Um, uh, what are they called? Um, Strix cards. Those you can like they honestly cannot fit in here but i managed to put a card in here but it just it did not look right because i mean it came by it came like way too far out you have to take the front panel off to get it to fit good cooler though but not really ideal card for this machine any founders edition cards of course will work just fine because they're smaller pcbs uh, and then this one as you can see i'm even in trouble right. with this one card is finally in. We shall just plug her in. And that is it on that. Now tidy up the back. There you go. She is installed. And we're in the back. I still might put uh, the Noctua fan down here, um, just so it can. According to the diagram, the unit sucks in air, and it goes like this, and some of it comes out there. Some might have it do a pull, so it's exhausting it. Or I might just have it the other way, because that's how I had it set up when the uh, liquid cooler, I mean the radiator was, everything was pushing down. So I might still put that in. Um, we'll see what, how it goes. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching.